Hello, O-Doers! Oh As always, it's so good to see you again. Today, I'm coming at you with another great manufacturing app tutorial. This time, we're going to be talking about Overall Equipment Effectiveness, or OEE for my acronym lovers, which is one of the manufacturing app's reporting features. The OEE feature tracks the amount of time a work center is fully productive versus the amount of time it is operating at reduced speed or when it is blocked from being used. Now, before we jump into our database, I want to take a little time to define the different work center statuses. This is going to make it easier to understand the OEE report when we look at it later. So, first off, we have fully productive time. When a work center is fully productive, it means it's processing a work order that has not exceeded its expected duration. For example, if a work order has an expected duration of, let's say, 60 minutes, and it is completed in 57 minutes, all of that time is considered to be fully productive. Now up next, we have reduced speed, which is when a work center is processing a work order that has exceeded its expected duration. Using our previous example of a work order with an expected duration of 60 minutes, I'd say it takes 70 minutes to complete. The extra 10 minutes is counted as reduced speed time. Reduced speed negatively impacts a work center's OEE score, even though the work center is operational. And then finally, we have a few different statuses, all of which result in the work center being blocked or prevented from receiving work orders. These include equipment availability, equipment failure, Steve, and process defects, as well as a few others. Okay, Steve wasn't the real one, but you get my point. All right, now that we've learned about all of those statuses, let's see how we can configure Work Center to properly track OEE with Odoo. So here we are on the main dashboard. I'm gonna start by opening up the manufacturing application over here, going up to configuration, and then Work Centers. Let's select our assembly station two over here. And here we have its form. So there are three fields we need to focus on over here inside of the production information header. The ones that we want to focus on is time efficiency, capacity, and OEE targets. So I think it's time for me to break down time efficiency real quick. Now time efficiency refers to how efficient the work center is processing work orders. An efficiency value of 100% means that the work center processes work orders at the rate of their expected duration. Alternatively, an efficiency value of let's say 50% or 200% would signify that the work center processes work orders at half the speed or twice the speed respectively. That makes sense, right? So let's jump back over to our database and I'm gonna discuss those other fields further. So here we have capacity right there. You'll notice it just says one, which means that the work center can only handle one unit at a time. So if an MO is created for two units of a product with a work order that takes 10 minutes, it would take 20 minutes to process it at this work center because you'd have to manufacture each unit one at a time. So finally, we have the OE target right there. I've set it to 90%. This is our goal for how much of the work center's operating time should be fully productive time. So we want this work center to be fully productive at least 90% of the time. Ugh, I know that is a lot of info to take in at once, Odoers. It's important to have these values set correctly. Doing so ensures that Odoo properly tracks fully productive time versus reduced speed time. All right, let's actually move on to the OEE report itself. There are a couple of ways that we can actually view it. First, I can actually navigate over to my overview page that we have over here, and then we will see our actual work centers. And on the card for each of the work centers, they have an OEE button that we can see here. Some are in red, some are in green. So this number that we have right there represents the percentage of fully productive time for the work center. The number that appears in green for, in our case, this Drill station one over here means the work center is at or above its OE target. On assembly station one, as I just talked about the red color over here, we have it, well, it's in red, which means that the work center is not meeting its OE targets. If I click on the OE button on one of these cards, like in our case, let's select the green one, because it's better to show it there. I'm taken to the OEE report for that specific work center. If I want to view OEE data for every work center, I actually need to click on, uh, actually over here in reporting, almost went to the wrong area, sorry about that. Overall equipment effectiveness. And there we have it. Like most reporting dashboards, I can view the data as in our case, bar chart, line chart, pie graph, everything you want. We can even go further than that and go all the way over here and do pivot tables, lists. Honestly, you can name it through all of these. So for now, let's actually go back over to our graphs and we're gonna stick with our bar chart over here. 
So each view shows me the total amount of time tracked for each work center, as well as how that time is broken down into various work center statuses. So once again, at drill station one, for example, we can see that most of the track time has been fully productive time, which happens to be that dark blue section over there. Now, this is a smaller portion over here that we have reduced speed time in the nice little orange right there. So now in our case, let's talk about how each status type is tracked for a work center. So this can be accomplished through the manufacturing app or the shop floor module. So in our case, I've created an MO for our coat wrap product to use as an example. So I'm going to open that now. We're going to go to operations and manufacturing orders. And just as I talked about it right now, we have this one right there. Our nice little coat rack. So on the MO, I'm going to select the work orders tab over here. And here's where the OEE report comes into play. If in our case, the real duration that we have right there is less than the expected duration over there, the time is counted as fully productive. If in our case, the expected duration that we have over there is actually going to be more, then we have a situation where that excess time is counted as reduced speed if the real duration exceeds that 60 of expected. Okay, but what about when a work center is blocked? How do we track that? As the more eagle-eyed O-doers may have already guessed, we do so by clicking on the block button that we have right there on a work order. So we're actually gonna do that right now for this drill pole. And right now we have the block work center pop-up that appears. I need to choose a loss reason. So I think it's going to be the reason why this was lost. There are a few options to choose from, including material availability, equipment failure, setup, process defect, reduce yield, and the list goes on. Or if I wanted to, I can actually just start typing and click create once that I get typing away. So our selected reason is then recorded on the OEE report for this work center. For this one, I'm gonna select equipment failure, and then I'm just gonna click block. I don't wanna say what happened. So once the work center is ready to be used once again, all I need to do is click unblock on the line of the work order. And just doing that, Immediately, we're ready to go once again. Okay, so before I finish this tutorial, I just wanna quickly mention that work centers can also be blocked and unblocked from the shop floor module. So back over here on our main dashboard, we're gonna open up shop floor and take a look at any work order over here. And you'll wanna click on these three dots in the bottom right, and this is our additional options menu on a work order. And to unlock, or in this case, unblock it or block it, you just click on this button at the bottom, and that's how you do it. And that's it for now, folks. Thanks for sticking around until the end. You're now ready to use the OEE report to gain deeper insights into the productivity of your work centers. I'm going to see you soon, O'Doers. Go grab a snack.